Hello and welcome everyone to our another episode of CDS Views. So in this part, we are going to see how we can create our own CDS Views. So creating our first CDS View. So in the previous session, we saw the introduction part why CDS View is so important and why it is so popular because it is directly utilizing the features of HANA on HANA layer, HANA database layer, right? Using the EDT, we can only create our CDS views. So what you see while creating the CDS view is whenever we create any CDS view, whenever we create any CDS view in EDT, a web development tool on Eclipse, Eclipse, a corresponding corresponding DDIC view is also generated is also created into the SAP system and you can see it and you can see it from SC11 transaction code you can see it from SC11 transaction code okay so let's take one requirement for our CDS view and we will create our very first CDS view. So requirement. So requirement. Our requirement is display the material master data, material master data from Mara table. Material master data from Mara table using the CDS views CDS views okay so all right I will open my SAP system I will open my SAP system to check my Mara table okay go to SE 11 and here we will pass our Mara table and I will go for display so as I can see we have got lots of field in our Mara table right so we are going to simply use this fields and I will simply create one CDS view. So how we are going to create that? So go to ADT, okay? Go to ADT, now go for your package, right click on the package, go for new and go for other ABAP repository object, okay? Now scroll it down, scroll it down. You will find there is a option of CDS view. So connectivity, yes, core data services. So open this folder and in it, go for it, go for data definition. So go for data definition here and go for next button. Okay. Now I will pass the name of my CDS view. So CDS view one. Okay. And I will give my description as first CDS view to display material master first CDS view to display material master and I will go for next button again select the transport request so I will select my favorite transport request and I will go for next button now as soon as you will go for next button SAP will simply show you the available templates lots of templates are available for defining your CDS view so I will start with the most basic one. However, it is obsolete already. It is already deprecated, but we are going to simply see each one of them one by one. I will go for define view and I will go for finish. Okay, I will simply go for finish. I will simply go for finish. Okay, it contains more than 40 character. All right, let's reduce it. Yeah, it's perfect. Now, this is your section where you will define your CDS view. Define view, your CDS view name, add select from, this is your data source. Data source, it simply means from where you want to bring your data. So what I will do, I will pass my table name as Mara table, okay? Mara table. Now if you check the first line, you will see a annotation where it is asking for SQL view name and it is empty. It is also mandatory here, you must have to pass a view name. And this is the same DDIC view that will be created and you can see that from SC11 transaction code also, okay? 
So I will simply give a view name here as uh, Z D D I C view zero one. I will pass here this view name. Okay. Then we will see all these annotation one by one slowly. For now, the first annotation this is responsible for creating a D D I C view, and this section is for defining your VS CDS view where you are going to simply select all the necessary columns that you need here okay so i will start with the column one i will simply go to my table matner is there right so i will go for matner and i will name it material number i will use it as a alias here so material number okay first thing then i will go for another column let's go for another column uh, which column I should take? Okay, let's say MTART material type. And if I check the contents of material type, mm, lots of things are there. My favorite one is raw material, so ROH. Okay, so I will go for material type and I will put it in a case here. So I will pass it case on material type. So case MTART. Okay, and when the value of my material type will be ROH, then I will display it as raw materials. I will display it as raw material. Otherwise, else I will display it as Amrit. I will simply display it my name here. Okay, and and as material underscore type perfect so i will display this mtart as material type its column heading will be material type then i will simply go for next column what is the next column after mtart uh, let's see after mtart we have got industry sector okay so mbrsh mbrsh as industry sector I am giving alias name for each and every column here and then at last we have MEINS so I will pass it as basic unit of measure basic unit of measure I will simply pass it as basic unit of measure okay so our CDS view has been created I have simply selected four columns I will right click and I will go for activate button activating activation completed our CDS view is ready right let me reactivate and check yeah activation finished I will simply right click and I will go for uh, where it is open with data preview yeah just go for open with data preview it will simply display you the output and now you can clearly see all the column names has been heading has been changed with our alias name that we have given material number material type industry sector and basic unit of measure okay all our material type has been changed to Amrit Raj that we have given here Amrit Raj that we have given here except the raw material you can see here raw materials raw material right and rest for all the three columns are getting displayed in the same format as they are available in the table so this is the most basic CDS view that you can easily create anywhere, but it can only be created on ADT. Okay, it should only be created inside the ADT on Eclipse or via the HANA studio. Now this particular DDIC view, I am going to simply check whether it is it has been created or not. So I will go to SE 11 and I will go to select the view and I will pass the name of the DDIC view here and go for display button. Now you can clearly see generated DDL SQL views are only supported in limited way by SE 11. This is a warning message SAP is giving. And now if you check the fields that has been created material number table is Mara field is Matner. If you check the material type its table has been changed automatically at the runtime because we have simply defined it. We have used the case statement here and when its value is 
is accordingly we have adjusted its length so by default its field has also been adjusted here then industry sector and basic unit of measure and if i check the table and join something is some runtime ddl character types table is being used here and if i go for contents tab i will get the exact amount of data here also see in the same format that we are seeing there in the same format we are seeing there right so this is your ddic view data has been created but if i go and check my database view uh, sorry if i try to pass the cds view that we have created if i try to pass the cds view name directly here in the view section and if i go for display button what it will say operation not supported by the selected object we cannot open our cds view here it is not possible operation is not supported by the selected object your cds view can only be created or displayed via the adt on eclipse or hana studio okay so this is the basic way to create our cds view okay we have simply created and whatever cds view will create a corresponding ddic view will be created and we can simply see it from ac11 transaction code also okay so this is all about our this video thank you very much for watching we will continue from the next part